Hi, this is Helen of HelenLindop.com and this is my third video in the series of how to make your first YouTube video. Now we're looking at uh, YouTube now because what I'm going to do is show you how to upload the video and do some very simple edits and then publish it. So let's have a look at, uh, at what we're doing. Um, I've got my first video of the series just here and my second one just there. And I'm going to do some edits to the first one of the series. Now, all I've done so far is I've created a YouTube account a very long time ago. So that's been there a while. So if you don't already have a YouTube account, you'll need to do that. And, um, and then I've just uploaded the video to YouTube. Now, I've not shown you how to do that because it's easy. You just find an upload button inside YouTube itself browse to the file that you want and upload it. And that can take a little while, so I didn't want to put that in the video. <coughs> so now the video's there and it's uploaded, I want to edit it. So I'm going to go to the YouTube video editor, which is just, as you can see there, youtube.com slash editor. And the YouTube videos that I have in this channel, so this YouTube account, are, uh, are sitting there and it's the first video in the series I want to edit so I'm going to drag that down to there and you can do lots of edits, a surprising amount of editing in the YouTube editor. I'm going to keep this very simple because I think one of the big dangers with your first YouTube video is overwhelm. <coughs> So I'm going to uh, to keep the overwhelm down to a minimum and uh, just do two simple things. The first one is I'm going to raise the volume a bit, which I can do by dragging that slider there because the microphone is a very cheap and simple microphone that plugs into my camera, always comes out with um, sound that's a little bit on the quiet side. So I've just raised that and I'm just guessing there. I mean, ideally, I'd be a bit more scientific about it. But for now, it's a simple video. I'm going to just crank the volume up a little bit. And then the other thing with my video camera is there's no remote control, so I have to press the button, as you can see here, and then walk in front of the video like that. Now that will be the case if you're using a smartphone video camera as well, so that's about the most common um, edit you need to do is just chop the beginning and the end of your videos. You'll also probably find that you have an annoying habit of pulling a funny face before you start talking, which I do. <coughs> and when you finish talking, so that needs trimming off. So if I just scroll that back and then see the time that I need to cut that out. So that was about the two second point. So what I do is just drag this in and I know it's about two seconds. And I start talking at about three or four. Right, so that's too far. Let's take that back a little bit. And actually about four seconds I think is about right there. Let's do the same with the end. So, oh no, there's my terrible face. Oh. <laughs> right, so I need to trim it a bit before that point, which is 3.22. So let's take it back to 3.21. So what we do is... I'm just going to scroll to the end of the video and it finishes at 3.26 so let's take that back to right now that's me moving to the camera to switch it off so oh dear <laughs> Let's go back a bit more. So you might need to just experiment a little bit to get the right spot. Oh, before I shut my eyes. That's 320, that's a little bit more than I planned. Let's just check that's okay. Yep, that'll be fine. So that's just uh, chopped the beginning and chopped the end off and changed the volume. So all I do now is just hit publish. And that's going to take a few minutes. So I'm going to just pause the video here and come back to it. It's now about ooh, 10 minutes later 
and uh, my video has finished uh, so it's all ready to look at and if I just play it there I am again and it's cut out the first few seconds that I edited out where I was walking from the camera to stand in the position position you see me in now now what it's done is it's not saved the changes to the original video it's created an entirely new video so um, that it, that video is called my edited video which isn't of any real practical use as you can imagine so we need to change that so if I just click on info and settings <coughs> and I can change all that so um, I'll put the title in there which was how to make your first YouTube video oops and of course the description needs to be changed as well uh, now I'm going to uh, keep this again like everything else very very simple because there is a, an art to writing a description I'm not going to get into that here but what I would do first of all is put in my URL to my blog because what I want people to do after they've seen this video on YouTube is to go through to my blog and to see all the other really useful stuff that's on there and become a follower so I put that in there um, once I've got the post written that this video is going to appear in, I'll probably go back and I'll edit this and put the full post URL in because the post is going to have some useful hints and tips and four videos and uh, it would be great if anybody stumbles across this on YouTube if they go through and look at the entire, entire tutorial with all those videos in it so that's what I'm putting in there and then under the description you need to put in just a, a simple description of what the video is about so if anyone sees it on YouTube they will be tempted to watch the whole video and then if I just scroll down a little bit you can put tags in there so <coughs> I'll take YouTube editor out because that's not very useful uh, but I'll, you put in some relevant keywords oops let's click in the right place put in some relevant keywords again it makes it easier for you to be your video to be found there we go so I have YouTube and I'll put in um, make video for now okay now YouTube does save that occasionally um, if it hasn't been saved you can click save changes that's always a good thing to do and at the moment that video is private which is a good idea because you don't really want people watching it while you're editing it you want it finished and uh, complete and you know before it's viewed so at the moment it's finished as far as I'm concerned anyway and I want to make it visible so <coughs> if I change that to public and then it can be shared from that point so I've got a tick in that box that's something I've previously set up so whenever I publish a video to YouTube it will automatically share it on Google Plus and I can set it up for Facebook and Twitter if I want to as well I like to um, put a sort of little personal message or an individual message in when I share it on you on Facebook or Twitter so I haven't set that up automatically but you can do that if you want to and then if I just save and share <coughs> that video is now available on for anyone to see on YouTube um, it's been posted out to Google Plus and I can share it far and wide <laughs> to as many people as I possibly can and the way I would share that is copy the URL of that video and I can paste that wherever and that will link back to my YouTube video one more thing that I didn't mention is that um, you get a choice of three thumbnails with YouTube now if that's not a very attractive picture to be displayed when people go to your video you can change it to one of the others <coughs> uh, now quite often that one's not much better than the one you had but you know at least you get a choice of three Okay, so that's how to um, upload, edit and publish a YouTube video. Thanks for watching. Bye.